guys, in this video, I'm going to discuss polynoin. As the name suggests, there are many segmented lines which behave as a single object. So before we start drawing a polynoin, I'm going to go and select a line command and show you the difference between a line and a polyline. So I'll just go ahead and draw an object. Let's go and draw this object. And then I'm going to go and select polyline. So select and draw a polyline. And now what if I go and select the object here on the left hand side. So as you can see if I select that part of the object it will select only one line because lines are, are separated segmented lines. So what if I press escape and for deselect and I'm gonna go and select the polyline from this object. So once I select that as you can see that the polyline is combined. These lines are combined which is called polyline and it's a single object. So I go and select my move command and I select that part of the line and a polyline. And now I'm going to go press spacebar and I'm going to move these. As you can see once I move around it only moved a polyline and that single line. So the lines are separated segmented lines. So let's go and start with polyline now. I'm going to go and draw another polyline. And I'm going to start from here. Let's go draw polyline. Okay, as you can see we got different options in polyline now on the command line. I can go and draw an arc within the polyline. If I go and click here, as you can see now I'm drawing an arc. So if you want to go back to the line, you can always go back to the line by clicking to the line here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go close this object now by clicking close or you can type C and spacebar. Okay, so let's have a look at this polyline and its different options. So if I go and select this polyline, I've got all these vertex around my polyline. So let's say I want to convert this arc to a line. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go to this vertex in the middle and hover over my cursor to it. So I've got three options. I can stretch it, I can add a vertex, and I can convert this to a line. So if I go and convert this line, as you can see, basically convert it to a line. So if you want to convert a line to an arc, you can do that as well. You can go in the middle vertex here, hover over, and convert this to an arc, and you can draw an arc. You can even add a vector, sorry, a vertex to your line. Let's say I'll go hover over, add vertex. So it's going to ask me where I'm going to. So now it's asking me where I'm going to define a vertex. So let's go and select here. As you can see, this line is a different line now. But it's a simple object, but a different line now. So I can go and convert this line to an arc. As you can see, you can select any vertex, move them around, change your shape. So this is basically a polyline. Okay, so let's go ahead and define a width of a polyline. So if I start a line, and as you can see I've got that width option in the line. What it does basically is it's going to keep your line a width. So if I go click here, and now it's going to ask me to specify the starting point. I'll go and say 10 feet. And the ending point will be 10 feet as well. So as you can see that now, we have width around our line. If I go and draw so many lines here, I can go and draw an arc as well. So if I go press A, spacebar, so it's starting an arc now. Okay, so within the line, let's say I want to go back to my line width zero. You can do that as well because you're gonna you're gonna have to define your width size always back to zero. Otherwise, AutoCAD will automatically keep drawing any line, a polyline to the width whatever you define. So I'm going to go and select the width again, starting point zero, ending point zero. So I've got my line back. And I'm going to go close this here. I'm just going to give you a quick tip what you can do by using width in polyline. So I'm going to draw an arrow by using width in polyline. Okay, so let's go here. I'm going to draw a polyline here now. So I'll start my point here and then draw a line. And now I'm going to define my width. So W, spacebar, the starting width would be let's say 15 feet and the ending would be 0 so if I go and zoom in as you can see now we got an arrow at the end of the line so that was a quick trick to use width in polyline so there are many different ways we will look at in, in the main project when I start building our main project so for now I'm pretty much sure that I've covered everything about polyline Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video, be sure to subscribe to my channel.